Hi there, Chris Whedon here from the Wellington Centre of Business Excellence, Building Better Businesses. Today I want to talk to you about the third part of our, of our business challenges. Our research has shown that there's been a number of challenges that SME business owners, owners are facing. And I want to talk to you today about leverage, the leverage of systems for operational efficiency, right? So leverage of systems for operational efficiency. The biggest issue, the big problem that I'm seeing is that too many businesses are, are run by people. People are great, right? But too many businesses are run by people. They're not run by efficient systems. They're not run uh, under under you know well governed processes and systems. So that's that's a major issue. Um, as a people are great, but the challenge with people is you can't scale. And you, you can't throw so many people into it, and only so many you can throw into it. You can't scale your business, and that's a major issue. So what's the challenge then with with inefficient systems or bad operational procedures? Well, three things that I'm seeing immediately. One, absolutely wasted resources. Because if you haven't got good systems, you haven't got good processes, you can't allocate resource properly. So that ends up being wasteful. That's the first point. The second point is you get unhappy customers because you can't get consistent delivery. You can't do things the same way every time. So person A does it, they do it their way. Person B does it, they do it a different way. I was working with folks last night and they were giving examples in their plumbing business of three or four different ways of doing the same thing. That's not going to work. So unhappy customers. And the third thing is, of course, you get frustrated people. You get frustrated team members because they don't know They've got to apply their own way of doing stuff each time. So there's no um, standard way of doing it. Now, obviously, within standards, you can vary, but you want to have at least a, a well-governed process. So wasted resources, unhappy customers, and, and very frustrated staff. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Get it right, however, and what you get is more time because processes are streamlined. So you get more time to actually do proper value-adding work. That's a massive, massive benefit immediately. Second thing is you're going to have cost savings because on the one hand, you had wasted resource. Now you've got well-allocated resource. Do it once, use it forever. Fantastic. Off you go. And the third third thing is you can scale your business. Whether it comes from you know five or 10 people to 100 people, you can do it because your systems and your processes, your operational stuff behind the scenes are running well. So I think that's something to, to think about very carefully. The other point, of course, is if you don't have good systems and good processes and you mess it up, where you really lose money, and I've seen this countless times, a recent example of a, of a drilling company, their job that they set up was for three days, where they, it, ended up being three, it ended up being three days overdue. The problem there was that they didn't have good systems, they didn't have good processes, they weren't running, everyone wasn't doing it the same. And they had to change stuff halfway, and that then led to lots of inefficiency. The extra three days effectively blew their budget and ended up they didn't make a decent profit. They still didn't lose on the job, but their profit margin shrank down to practically nothing. So real problem. There's three things I want to show you, I want to tell you about to get this right. Firstly, map out your processes. Go end to end. It's not going to have to be terribly sophisticated. I can work with you to do it. We can use what I call the 1105 process. Map out your processes. Figure out where the bottlenecks are. Make sure you can find those improvements, and then you can measure them, and you drive efficiency over, over a long period of time. So firstly, map out your processes. Secondly, automate, automate, automate. There, there's no excuse anymore for not using technology. In lots of different ways. It's apply the technology in your business. Make sure you can automate stuff. Instead of you doing it, your time is precious. Get a machine to do it. Get some technology to do it. So map out your processes, automate. And then the third thing is leverage. Leverage is about doing it once and using it forever, right? Spend the time, spend the investment, getting it right. Get your processes done. The best example I can think about, even if you don't believe the food is good, go to McDonald's. They've got great systems. They've got great processes. They've spent time doing it. And every single time, though it comes out, whether you're in New Zealand or whether you're in New Caledonia, wherever the next McDonald's is, it's the same burger, right? Because they've got their systems and their processes done. So do it once, use it forever. It's a good principle called leverage. Drives fantastic operational efficiency. So let's just recap that then. The benefits. You get more time, more money, and most importantly, happier customers. It's a total you know, winning formula for me. If you want help with this, if you want to understand how to drive your operational efficiency, you want to get better systems, better processes, so you can get more time, happier customers, make more profit, give me a shout, DM me, phone me on my, on my mobile, or just hit reply if, you, if you're watching this on a if you got this via, via email. Have a fantastic day. All the best. Bye-bye.